We are well got What's up guys? Jack the Ripoff here. Here for a new let's play of a game called One Night Stand. It is uh I guess it's like a demo. I don't know if there's gonna be any more updates to it. Uh, but basically this is just a game where you wake up after a one night stand having no idea what's going on. So I've seen a couple of YouTubers play this, figure why not, I'll give it a shot myself and see where it goes. There's supposed to be multiple endings with this, so let's see what endings we can get. So without further ado, let's get into this one night stand. Ugh. My head. My stomach. I feel like crap. Last night, what happened? Drink. Lots of drink happened. Mm -hmm. Ah, what's that noise? And I opened my eyes. Mm -hmm. My phone. Where's my phone? Oh, okay, that's me. That's up to me. Right there. Got it. Mm -hmm. shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Gary, mate, what the hell happened to you last night? I have no idea, but thanks a lot for waking me up. Low battery. Crap, my phone's about to die. Better plug it in before the battery runs out. Nope, can't plug my phone into that. Or that. Ah, my phone charger has to be somewhere around here. Wait, I don't recognize this bedside table. This isn't my room. My clothes, they're all over the floor. Am, am I... I'm completely naked! ruh -ro. Um... Oh dear, we seem to have a female next to us. Oh! I guess I got lucky last night. This must be her room? I hope this is her room. But who is she? Mm -hmm. Mate, you totally bailed on us on Ah, that was a terrible accent. Mate, you totally bailed on us on everyone last night. You went to get a round of drinks and never came back. What the fuck? All the girls were so pissed off. I can't believe I ditched my dates so you could just bail on us all. Why did I suddenly go Irish? I tried to go Australian, but then I just suddenly switched to Irish. Or, uh, Scottish. Shit, sounds like drunk and he was up to no good last night. Hate to let my mates down, but I guess my mind must have been elsewhere. Sorry, I honestly don't know what happened to me last night. But guess what? I pulled. Heh, <laughs> that should shut him up. Could she be one of the girls from last night that Gary was talking about? Even if she was, I don't know anything about her. I can't even remember her name. Shit, I really can't remember anything that happened last night. I don't even know where the hell I am right now. Ugh, this hangover isn't helping. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. Bullshite. One drink and you're off betting women? You're gonna need a better excuse for ditching all your mates than that. Gary doesn't believe me. He sounds pretty pissed off. If Gary's not going to take my word for it... Am I recording right now? Okay, cool. Sorry, I had to make sure I was recording. For some reason, it's not showing it on the overlay. I could take a sneaky picture that would shut him up. I'm not going to take a photo. Nah, I'm not going to stoop to that. Ah, shit. My phone's dead anyway. What should I do now? Um, Wake her up. I need answers, and I need them now! What the? I guess you ran out of the room. Did she just throw that duvet over me? She did. <laughs> she's gone? Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. She didn't... I did, she, uh, still, I didn't really get a good look at her. Maybe she wants me to leave? I'm gonna look up. What's that? Pulp Fiction, huh? I like this film. This is a cinema classic. Good choice. Um... Oh, that's a nice guitar. I bet it's worth a lot of money. 
I think I know how to play a few chords. But now isn't really the time for that. Um, it's a romance novel. Eyes of Embrace? It sounds intriguing. Intriguing. Maybe I should give this a read. Is she walking in? Oh, well, hello there. Oh, hey. I kind of like the style of the whole thing. Like, how she's kind of, like, it's kind of animated, like, when she was, like, a drawn animation. It looks really cool, in my opinion. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry for dashing out the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. That's okay. I was just a little shocked when I, was, when I was suddenly smothered by the duvet. <laughs> Sorry, as soon as I woke up, I just really needed to dash to the bathroom. Um, I'd rather not go into it if it's okay with you. Yeah, of course. So, have you been awake long? Not really, my phone woke me up. Ah, I wondered what that noise was. It woke me up too. Ah, uh, sorry. Oh, don't worry about it. Um, I noticed you're reading Eyes of Embrace. Haha, <laughs> you found one of my vices. Yeah, I'd been recommended this by another student. But it's pretty trashy so far. Call me old-fashioned, but I prefer stuff by Austin and Bront to this. I don't know who any of those guys are. I don't I don't read romance novels. I'll probably keep reading it though. Really? Even if you're not enjoying it? Yeah, of course. I'd hate to leave a book half read. I always seem to read I always see them through the end. This is really weird conversation to get into right after waking up. As far as I can tell, I'm still naked in the bed while she's just standing at the foot of it and just kind of having a talk about trashy romance novels. Oh well. No matter how trashy they are. This is a little awkward. I bet. Uh, I should ask something. Hangover. Do you have a hangover? Yeah, just a little one. I mostly just feel nauseous after a night out like that. Those are my... I don't necessarily get hangovers more so than I get nauseous the next day. What about you? You don't look too great. Uh, you don't look too great. Are you feeling okay? I feel sick. I feel a little bit sick. I'm not surprised. You already had quite a few drinks before we met last night. Is that so? Gary said I only had one drink before. Is there anything I can get you that might make you feel better? Uh, some coffee would be great. A cup of coffee would help me shake off this hangover. Nice. I'll go put the kettle on and see if we have some instant coffee in. Ugh, instant coffee? Yeah. I'd much rather just brew it myself. Okay. That went... Well... She seems nice. She seems nice. Still, I'm no closer to finding out what happened last night. Uh, what's that? This must be her wallet. I really shouldn't be looking through this, but then again, this might contain some useful information about her. A driver's license, an ID card, something with her date of birth or name at least. If we're looking for a name, we should look for a name. Here goes nothing. Looks like an ID card. Her name is Robin. And she's 22 years old. It's a funny looking ID card though. Wonder if it's legit. 22 years old, huh? That's about what I expected. Okay, uh... We're not gonna look in there. What's that? It's a pile of magazines. There's some music and gaming mags in here. NICE! Uh, some of the articles sound pretty interesting. Shame I don't have, to have time to read them now. What up? Hey, how are you holding up? How am I holding up? I have no idea. Um, yeah, fine. Well, I hope this helps. Thanks, it smells good. Well, it's not Starbucks, but hopefully it'll help shift that hangover. Anything's better than Starbucks. Sorry, yo, young, uh sorority college girls with your Ugg boots and things like that. I'm not a Starbucks fan. I prefer a good, fresh, brewed cup of coffee like Folgers or maybe even Dunkin' Donuts, but not Starbucks. It's delicious. Dot dot dot. 
It feels awkward again. I should really ask her about last night. She must know something. So, that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was alright. Just alright? It's me we're talking about! By the way, thanks. Huh? Last night I was feeling pretty down. I'd always brushed off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. Ah, that must be how we met. And then having the guy bail on me in the middle of the date. Huh? What an asshole. Okay, I think we can assume that the guy wasn't me. I was about ready to jump into a taxi, go home, and shut myself in for days. I'm really glad you showed up. You bought me a drink. You listened to me. It, it cheered me up. I guess the night turned around thanks to you. She got stood up last night, and I stepped in. Maybe this explains why I accidentally abandoned Gary and my friends last night. Even if I can't remember anything we talked about. Don't worry about it. Although, I think I ended up abandoning, abandoning my friends by accident. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. They're just a little pissed with me this morning. I didn't even realize you were there with friends. You didn't mention, me, mention anything about them at all. Really? I was in a bar with Gary and a couple other people, I think. Dot dot dot. Huh? You think? Yes. Seems like you don't remember much of what happened last night. Ah! She's on to me! Uh, what should I say? I remember parts, not really no. Well, for the most part, we don't really remember anything, so not really no. <laughs> not really, no. What? Really? You must be pretty confused then. I'll fill you in on what I know. I don't know why it pauses like that. We met around 11 p.m. by the bar at Paradox. You'd had a few drinks, but you didn't seem too drunk. You bought me a drink and we found a secluded spot to chat. We chatted for ages without being interrupted, even in a bar as loud as Paradox. At the end of the night, we'd both have quite a few drinks. Neither of us were in a state to make good decisions. When the taxi arrived, we both jumped in. And I guess we ended up here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And that's everything I can recall. I don't know anything that happened leading up to that. Sorry. No, it's fine. Thanks for helping me fill in the blanks. Listen. About last night. Yeah? Going out, meeting a total stranger, and bringing them here. Home. This isn't something I normally do. In fact, I've never done this before. Robin's never had a one night stand before? Have you ever done anything like this? Nope. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's reassuring. It makes me feel a bit less uncomfortable about the whole thing. Oh, she's getting awkward again. I guess what I'm trying to say is... I don't want this to be... typical. I mean, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up or whilst I was out of the room. I don't know. Clearly you were nice to me last night. But part of me thought you'd want to leave as soon as you woke up. But you're still here. I mean that in a good way, of course. She's happy that I'm still here? I guess I've managed to make a good impression, all things considered. 
So this is like the awkwardness of a one night stand, huh? I mean, I don't really think it usually gets this drawn out. In my opinion, I think most one night stands kind of end up just waking up and leaving. Maybe breakfast. I don't know. I don't know these things. Listen, we didn't really get to know each other that well last night. <clears throat> Sorry. I ranted up about my date and life troubles. I've talked enough about me. Tell me about you. Huh? Tell me something about you. I I'm still laying in this bed naked. And she's just standing at the foot of this bed just asking me to tell her something about my life. Can I at least put my clothes on? Um... I know this might sound strange. But if we get to know each other a little better, then maybe this could be different. Different? Like, maybe this doesn't have to be as weird as just two strangers hooking up. Eh, she's got a good point. I mean, kind of get to know each other. I like the art style. Is. It's actually, like, it's simplistic, but it's, it's actually kind of pretty. I like it. Sure, I guess. But what should I tell Robin about myself? Hobbies, friends, or person. Let's talk about our friends. Well, I guess I'll start with... Ugh. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, wait here. I'll be right back. She's gone. That was strange. She turned pale as soon as I opened my mouth. I wonder if I can find anything out, find out anything more about her. Um, is there anything else over here? Hmm, these are all her clothes. Even if I wanted to wear them, I doubt they'd fit. Huh! I wonder if these lacy panties are gonna work for me. <laughs> um, bottle of wine. Aha! I think we found the cause of this hangover. Funny, I don't normally drink wine, especially red. I guess drunk me doesn't care what he's pouring in the tank. A Rioja Reserva. Sounds fancy. It's half empty. Um... There's a laptop here. Maybe I could use it to find out more about Robin? Sure! Okay, here goes. It's open on her Facebook page. Convenient. She has 67 friends? That doesn't seem like many. Many Facebook standards, by the way. Her latest status says, Robin checked into Paradox Bar. That's what Robin told me. Ah, someone is messaging her. I better close this quick. And in she comes. Hey, are you okay? Just hop back into the bed naked. Not really. Sorry, I just feel really sick all of a sudden. Maybe it was something I ate last night, or too much to drink. What should I do? Continue conversation, offer to leave, or offer help. Uh, let's just kind of keep her distracted from that and just continue the conversation. So, where were we? Uh, sorry, I know we were about to have a nice chat, but I don't feel well enough to do that now. Oh, okay. Sorry to cut this short. I just need to get some rest. Okay. I quick, I'll quick quickly gather the remainder of my belongings. Okay, I've got all my stuff. Cool. There's a bus station just down the road from here, so you should be able to get home from there. Thanks, Robin. Listen, don't take this the wrong way. What? Don't take what the wrong way? You've been really nice this whole time. I'm grateful for that. Uh, I want to see you again. Let's be friends. No problem. What should we try for? What do you want? You're in the middle of my recording! Oh my gosh! Hi. 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 Roommate's here, guys. Say hi, roommate. <laughs> you see his face now, right? That's weird. It's the first time you've seen his face since Ninja Park. Ah! <laughs> Alright, uh, if you want to chill, I guess. I guess we have ourselves a personal audience now. Roommate's here, chilling. How should I respond? Quick! How should I respond? How should I respond? I want to see you again. Y'all want to see you again! Robin, I really like you. And I hate for us to end things like this. What did she say? Can I see you again? What did she say? What did she say? Listen. Oh no, she's giving me the listen speech. You seem like a nice guy. 
And I really appreciate that you didn't run out of here as soon as you got up. But... Oh no, there's the butt! The ever-changing butt! I'm sure some people find something deep in a one-night stand, but... I'm sorry, I just don't think there's anything good for us here. You better not be vaping in my room. Fuck boy. I just don't think there's anything good for us here. Oh no! But we had such a good conversation. I mean, we're just meant to go our separate ways, right? No, of course not. Oh, come on! You gave me the wrong decision! I'm never listening to your opinions again. You get up and leave the room. Robin sees you to the front door and waves you goodbye. You didn't expect things to end up this way. She really seemed like a nice girl. You walk out onto the street and, find, and try to find a way home. Oh, I wonder how else that could have played out. Let's find out! I didn't do any saves either. Darn it! <sighs> How long have we been going into this? Over 20 minutes! Okay, you know what? Uh, we'll continue this in another episode to try and get another ending. So, thank you all so much for watching. This has been One Night Stand. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see me upload some more, do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. I'd like to see you guys come back for more because I love making these videos. And until my next video comes out, this is goodbye for now. See you guys. Personally, I'm a religious guy, so I like to think that there's someone up above, you know, watching over him, you know, helping to make sure that he stays safe.